1,000 bots. I can already hear my computer's fans whirring up. Today in Ravenfield, we have the Battle of the Sandbox, where the green plastic army men are facing off against the armies of Tan, and I feel like they have a distinct advantage given the fact that they camouflage in with the map. Tan was always a little unfair in sandboxes. First, we're gonna have an all-out battle to see which army can secure the fortress, and then whoever does is going to have to defend it against endless waves of invaders. Now we have to pick up our weaponry, and I'm thinking the weapon that's gonna do the most is a flamethrower. So just off the bat, everybody spawns in. We've got a few Jeeps with machine guns on it. There's 160 total men, so 80 versus 80. This isn't as big as Battle Bit Remastered, nor is it multiplayer, but should I check that game out? So storming through the gate, everybody's popping smoke grenades, and you can see tan guys like within a few feet of the green, and it's absolute chaos within the fortress. Somehow I survived that, and I'm gonna pull out. The enemy's like spawning over there. We took three people out, but it didn't seem like it was enough. And if we check the map, it looks like Tan is holding the fortress. So at this point, maybe the best thing to do, one thing we didn't do is use this flamethrower. I love how this literally just throws flames. <laughs> now sand isn't flammable and it's a little bit unfortunate. Plastic isn't, but it does melt incredibly easily. I'm already at 16 kills and one of these might be health, but I feel like that the green army men mod for Ravenfield is gonna be one of the things that is the best for a modded campaign. And look at how Tan is just manning the fort up there. They've got guys on the walls, now, luckily, I still can hit them. I mean, I used to be able to hit them. Now, I'm just very inaccurate. <laughs> All right, we're going to go for a sniper. If we get in close, we'll use the flamethrower. Sniper at distance will clear the guards off the walls. Tan is just pouring out, but look at how many bullets have impacted the sandcastle. This is one of those moments that makes you wish that there was destruction physics in Ravenfield because this sandcastle would be amazing to see get withered down over time to like artillery shells, bullets. I mean, shoot, even attacking with a hundred guys with only shovels would be pretty sweet. <laughs> that guy's got a pistol. Hal, you're an idiot, what are you doing? Now, what's interesting is even though the defenders had the castle, <laughs> you can shoot them off the ladder. They have less numbers, and I'm not entirely sure why they're losing this siege. But this is gonna allow us as the greens to take over the fort. Was that guy alive, or was he just bouncing around? And then we'll be able to hold it and defend it against endless tan waves. Oh, there's some guys up here. Luckily, my guys are covering me pretty well. We've just taken the fortress. The guns are turning green. Wait a minute. There's no way to get from here to there other than jumping. That doesn't seem AI safe, does it? <laughs> This will not work out very well. But I love how like, you can just climb up these stairs, not seamlessly by any means, and it gives you a pretty decent vantage point over the whole map. Now these, manning these machine guns, I think is gonna be key. So in our defense, this is where I need to get first. Well, I asked for a helicopter, but the pilot here wasn't a very good pilot. So just a quick survey, we've got what, four capture points? And then the central fortress. So the first wave that's gonna hit us is 100 men. Now we're gonna hold the central point. So this is pretty simple, right? We've got 100, they've got 100. The first person to lose 100 loses. Oh my goodness. Can I get collateral shots? How do I fire a bullet into that and not hit anybody? Or not kill them? All right, give me the machine gun. So we've lost, I mean, the numbers are relatively comparable right now. I've overheated the gun and I'm getting shot from all angles. Manning that machine gun is almost absolutely futile. <gasps> I need a bazooka. Nope. <laughs> I tried to jump and parachute and flamethrower them and that did not work. All right, there's gonna be a little bit of friendly fire there, but there's gonna be a lot of enemies roasted and toasted. Now I've got 13 kills. There's a guy by the name of Dre on the enemy team with six which is pretty good for an AI at this stage of the game. One mistake I'm making is not switching to a bazooka. A bazooka would absolutely crush it. All right, I'm gonna see if I can't just like drop fire on people. It's working. 
Hold the flag, boys, hold the flag. Once again, manning a machine gun is basically a death sentence. This fortress looks amazing, but it is very difficult to defend. Now, is it worth it? Switching from a flamethrower to bazooka? The good news is the enemy is only pouring in from one side of the base. Of course, I have a bazooka when I need a flamethrower. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. <laughs> and wait for it, wait for it. I got three of them. We're barely losing by about nine or 10. My guys just aren't doing a very good job. I mean, I'm doing my job. I'm at 40 kills. I think ambushing the convoy with bazookas is the play right now. <laughs> Every time I fire, I get at least three kills. But even with 51, the score is tied right now. We need to switch to a flamethrower, I think. It's the only way we hold the gate and turn this against the enemy. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. I mean, the fire effect isn't beautiful, but using a flamethrower from up top. We're still losing. I cannot stay alive for more than a few seconds. You're not getting in this gate. Look at the red hot barrel of this thing. It's 13 versus 16. Oh wait, that might be a friendly guy right there. Wait, did we help him off? I think we did. No way. My guys are shooting, but I have no idea where. It's four to five. I don't know, I can't see them, but I know I can arc my fire over this hill. What? Defeat? How is it defeated? Now, against my better judgment, we're gonna push this game to the absolute max. 1,000 bots on that small of a map. I think this is really dumb. I can already hear my computer's fans whirring up. I'm gonna use the shotgun because I don't think aiming is gonna be very easy with how laggy this might be. <laughs> It's a never-ending supply of army men. They just keep spawning in. <laughs> Look at them on the ladder. Frames aren't absolutely terrible. They're just really, really bad. All right, so if I just fire this machine gun into that nest of people, there's green men standing on me. I am getting a kill every time I fire a bullet. And I think I got 123 kills right there. I don't even think I fired 123 bullets. The AI doesn't know what to do. Greens are just charging out of the fort and running straight into Tans. Tans are just bum rushing this base. We are breaking the game by spawning in way too many plastic army men. Now there is friendly fire, but we're killing them too. I feel like the guy from Braveheart. What an old but great war movie. All right, I'm at 214. Okay, everybody just started shooting at each other. <laughs> We got immediate victory. As soon as the bots realized they could shoot at each other, they all spawned in before they started fighting. Except for one guy on the enemy team, he had five kills before the gunfight started. That has to be the weirdest battle of Ravenfield I have ever taken part in. Oh, yeah, it's definitely weird because there's tan guys here and none of them are even shooting at me or wanting to fight me. Even in slow motion, we have like less than 10 frames a second. So what happens when a thousand plastic army men siege a sandcastle? Absolute chaos. <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one. I need, my computer needs to rest.